Hello and welcome to another video. I am back home in Canada and I spent over two months in Bangkok, Thailand and I thought I'd give an honest 2019 review of what I experienced over there, the good, the bad, and the ugly and uh, help you decide whether or not you should make a trip to Bangkok, Thailand this year. And if you do, what you should expect and prepare for based on what I've experienced. So let's get into it. So the first reason I went to Thailand was for health tourism. Winters here in Canada are freaking cold. And I just want to go somewhere that has lots of sunshine and I can just recover. There's no better place in the world than Bangkok, Thailand, in my opinion. First of all, the sunshine. You get lots of sunshine, you get lots of vitamin D. You escape the cold, cold winters of Canada here, and you, your body can just get used to that, just soak up that sun, all right? That's the first reason. Second reason was I, I needed to get uh, my medical and dental checkups done. Doing dental work and medical work here in Canada is expensive, it's slow, and I don't, I'm not satisfied with the service. Whereas in Bangkok, you can get a medical checkup done in one day, you can get your teeth done in one day, and that's what I did. I got a full health checkup done here in Sukhumvit Hospital, located in Ekamai. They weren't as good as I expected, so I would not recommend that hospital because they, they don't really, the doctors don't speak really good English. Instead, I would recommend going to Bumrumgrad Hospital. That's the one I used to go to, but the prices have gone up. All right, that is one caveat, but they all speak English over there and their service is great. For dental work, I needed to get my teeth cleaned, my teeth checked, and I had uh, to get an operation. And the operation that I needed to do was a gum recession surgery. So if you're not aware of what gum recession is, it's basically, I had braces before, and once I took the braces off, my gum started to recede and get lower and lower, exposing the roots of my lower teeth. Gum grafting, they call it, was a procedure that you had to be on a wait list here in Canada. You had to wait several months. It's not covered by medical, so you have to pay thousands of dollars to get it done. And I didn't want to do that. So what I did was I went to Bangkok to get it done and all in one day. So I got the procedure. It was less than a thousand dollars Canadian that I paid and it took three hours sitting in a chair and she did the gum grafting procedure and I'm fine. I'm just, and it's been a month since I had that procedure and my gums are much better now. And I'm glad that I took the, the risk of going over there to get the procedure done for gum grafting. Her name is Dr. Noon and she works at several hospitals, but the clinic that I went to for the dental work and the gum grafting procedure was all done in Chitlom and it was done in a clinic called Truth Dental Clinic. So look them up. I recommend them. They all speak English. And you can contact them on Facebook Messenger if you want, if you have any other questions. And they're great. Not only can you get medical and dental work done in Bangkok, but you have a variety of options of cosmetic procedures. So if you want to get plastic surgery, if you want to get uh, Botox, if you want to get a hair transplant, yeah, a lot of people go to Thailand. For example, I used to get Botox done in Korea. I would get a lot of stress from these frown lines that would get deeper, sink deeper, deeper onto my forehead. So what I would do is uh, every three to six months, I would get Botox done, put in these areas to just loosen the muscles so I, I would get less headaches. The service is much better there. I mean, you can get the procedures done in one day. You don't need to be on a wait list. You don't need a book in advance. You just show up. You just drop in like I did and you get the procedure done automatically. That's the great thing about getting cosmetic procedures done in Thailand. You can get you can just walk in and you get it done in the one day. It's really fast. That's what I like, speed. I was looking into a hair transplant because I have a, a little bit of a hair receding on top of my head. Yeah, there are clinics there that you can get your hair transplant done. Uh, for me, they were asking, they were quoting 5,000 and, uh, yeah, I was, I put it on hold on the back burner, but I know that if I do want to get the procedure done, yeah, I know how much it will cost and where to go and all that. Guys, if you have a male pattern baldness hair, receding hairline, yeah, go to Bangkok. I mean, just get it all, get it all done. 
medical, dental, cosmetic. Plastic surgery, women, yeah, you got your whole buffet of choices to choose from. One thing you need to know about the surgeons in Thailand is they're all trained overseas. I mean, they get their training in, in hospitals, in schools from around the world, and they all speak English. So the receptionists may not speak good English, but the doctors will. And if you have any questions and you need specifics, these doctors can answer your question. That's what I really like. The convenience and the speed. Get it all done. All your health checkups, all that stuff done in one place. Bangkok is the place to do it, in my opinion. Save money, just do it all in one place. Second reason, the food. My God, Thailand is spoiled for choices. You've got so much good food, junk food, Yeah, there's plenty of that. Burgers, McDonald's, all that. What I'm talking about is healthy food. Like the food choices for health is just amazing. You got vegan dishes, you got vegetarian, you got carnivore, you got fresh fruit everywhere. You got you got cheap coffee, like 35 baht for ice americano. That's like pennies. You got bubble tea everywhere. Bubble tea is getting popular with the young kids. You got detox juices at your gourmet supermarkets. You got fresh smoothies made from like watermelon and like pineapple and like mango. Oh my God. You got tea. You got, you got fresh coconut water. One thing that really stands out are the energy drinks. I know they're not healthy, but I love drinking Thai style energy drinks. You know, you have Red Bull, you're used to the carbonated tall can that's very expensive, but you can get the Thai version of that. It's called Krating Deng. That's the Thai version of Red Bull. It comes in a tiny little brown bottle. And these bottles, they sell for 10 baht, and that's just pennies. And you can, I, I just love drinking shots of these, these energy drinks because you will need them throughout the day to last the day. You got tons of energy drink choices over there. And it's so cheap. Pennies. Pennies are paying for them. It's food or drinks. I mean, yeah. You, they got it all over there. My favorite thing to do in Thailand is shopping at the supermarket. So there's a really good supermarket located in uh, Siam Paragon. Uh, you can go there. Or you can go to Asok, the supermarket over there. Or you can go visit any top supermarket. Uh, they're they're everywhere in Thailand, and they've got yeah they got everything salmon, chicken, sushi, fresh fruit. Oh yeah, it's it's abundant. Third reason I went to Thailand was the fitness. My God, like I said, if you want to get healthy, go to Thailand. The health tourism, the healthy food, and the fitness. And let's talk about the fitness. If you want to get in shape. Thailand is a place to be. There's there's just endless options. Let's first of all, gyms. There are tons of gyms out there in different price ranges, right? Jets is a 24-hour gym. I went there, tried the free trial. It's great. If you want more expensive options, go to Fitness First. They've got everything in that gym. My god, and then even more expensive Virgin Active. It's top-notch quality gym. It's high-end gyms. All the best equipment is located in these gyms. You got Wee Gym in Ekamai. It's another good gym. And if you you are on a budget, you can go to a community center or you can go to school gyms and you pay like 30 baht for a drop-in. That's like pennies to work out. And they don't have air conditioning. It's, it's like open gym, old school equipment. But you can get a good workout in and there's, you can meet a lot of locals. Say if you don't want to spend money, you can go to the parks. Holy cow. There are two really good parks that I love working out at. One is in Prompong. It's called Benjasiri. And that's just like a local neighborhood park. And everybody goes there. You can you can run. You can lift weights. They've got weights everywhere. You can do calisthenics. You can play sports like badminton, soccer. It's a great atmosphere being in a park full of all types of People that are working out trying to get fit. And fun thing is that they all work out at night because, you know, the weather's hot in Thailand. So you need to cool off at the end of the work day. Yeah, go to the park. It's free. Another good park is uh, Benjakiti Park 
in Asok. If you were a runner, if you want to run around a giant lake, go there. That's where all the serious runners go. I mean, it's such a beautiful scenery there, a wonderful lake, and you just run around that giant lake. Oh my God, the view there is just amazing. Okay, so runners, go to Benjikiti. For everyone else, go to Benjasiri in Prong Prong. And then you got your niche gyms or niche、uh, fitness. So, for example, Muay Thai. Oh my God, you get the real, authentic, real deal Muay Thai. In Bangkok, okay. There's so many gyms that cater to Muay Thai. They specialize in Muay Thai, not kickboxing. Muay Thai, the real deal. You got BJJ gyms, okay. You got MMA gyms. You got yoga gyms. You got a calisthenics gym now. There's one in Ekamai that opened up. It's called Fit Addict. You got bodybuilding gyms. You got CrossFit gyms. You got all kinds of fitness niches in Thailand. And fun fact. All serious athletes, they go, they train in the off seasons in Thailand, in Pattaya or wherever in Thailand, because it's cheap. They get good food, like I said, and they can just focus on working out, getting fit. Whatever niche you are in, Thailand is the place to get fit. You want to get ripped? Go to Thailand. <laughs> Holy cow! And you got your pools as well. Condo pools are everywhere. Every condo that you stay at, wherever you stay, whatever accommodations you have, there's going to be a pool. You can swim, like I do. For free, so there you go. Fitness is the third reason why I went to Bangkok. Fourth reason I went to Bangkok: the massage. Now, I think human touch, human contact, is very important. But not not only that. Recuperating from a heavy, intense workout is vital. And here in Canada, getting a massage is expensive. Right, getting physiotherapy is expensive. You can get a really good massage for really cheap in Thailand. I'm talking about two-hour Thai massage, traditional. They work your entire body: your legs, your arms, your back, your neck, your head, your scalp, everything. I feel like Thai masseuses here are like the underrated doctors of Thailand because they can isolate any muscle soreness. On my body, and they can treat it with their elbows, with their knees, with their forearms. Holy cow! They can really need need a muscle, like really dig deep. It's painful, but at the end of every session, I walk away like a new person, like all the soreness, all the pain gone. And if you don't work out, just get a foot massage because you're going to be doing a lot of walking. You're going to be standing on your feet a lot. In Thailand, and it's gonna hurt at the end of the day. So you're gonna at least get a foot massage. Then tourists get it all the time: the calf, foot, just mend those areas. Seriously, get a get a massage. Get a traditional Thai massage. And there's there's other massages as well. They have oil massages and all kinds of variety. The facial massage, and you, we're spoiled for choice. And It's so affordable, and there are massage parlors everywhere on every corner in Thailand. They all charge reasonable rates. They all charge the same rate. You can go for the standard rate, or you can go for higher end spas and pay a little bit more. I don't know why, but you can if you want. It's out there. They are worth every penny when you get one, especially when you work out intensely, like me. You do MMA or boxing or calisthenics or whatever you do to wreck your body. You need to recuperate. You need to recover, and the massage is one thing that I just cannot afford to do every day after every workout here in Canada. But in Thailand, I am blessed with that option. So the fourth reason I went to Bangkok was the massage to recover and recuperate my body. And the fifth and final reason why I went to Thailand was the chaos. I know it sounds strange, but chaos is something that I long for when I'm living in a country that is based on order. So, if you're from North America, you know what I'm talking about. Canada is plain Jane boring. There are laws enforced. You can't do this. You can't do that. It's not flexible over here. When when you have so many rules, laws, you just you become robotic. When you go to a country that is more flexible and has chaos, 
You got sidewalks that are crazy. You got cars buzzing by. You got you got people that want to have fun and have be free can bend the rules. That is something that I can enjoy for a few months. If I if I endured it for a whole year, I would go crazy living under that kind of system. But for a few months, I just love to let loose in a country that embraces chaos. Let me give you an example. When was the last time you could haggle for something in Canada? It's very hard to do that. But in Thailand, if you go to any marketplace, you can haggle for stuff. When you're buying stuff like clothes or trinkets or yeah, you can souvenirs. You can haggle with the vendors with cash. There was one coffee shop owner who gave me a discount just because I was friendly to him. How often do you get that in a cafe in your own home country? And being in a country where the prices are cheap allows more flexibility. You can spend more. You can do more things. You can add more excitement to your life. You can go to new places. You can travel around Thailand if you want. You can go on more tours or flights in and out of Thailand. Visit other countries. You meet people from all around the world, and people from all around the world are coming to Thailand. Thailand is the number one, or the top ten dense destinations all around the world for tourists. People want to network. People want to meet people. People want to party. People want to live here. There's never any excitement. If you're in a small town, you've seen everybody. People. Don't come and go. Not like in Thailand. People come and go all the time in Thailand. You meet people from Germany, Switzerland, Canada, and the United States. I met people from Iran. I met people from Brazil, Korea, China, Japan. Holy cow! Everywhere. It's an international hub in Thailand, and that's what I love. Just meeting people all the time. So chaos and the flexibility that chaos brings. Was the fifth and final reason why I went to Bangkok. <laughs>